So I wanted to do a really big single player campaign before Civilization 6 comes out. And I figured, you know, nobody on YouTube or online in general has posted about a single player 60 plus Civ on a giant Earth map campaign. So I figured, why not play this also as America? And if you've been subscribed for a while now, you'll know I have never played as America. Not in three years of YouTube playing Civ 5 single player, I've never played as them. I've never played as Washington. Part of the reason is they're just not really that interesting. Um, they're, they're kind of a very basic Civ, but because of the scenario that we've surrounded ourselves in, I think it's kind of an interesting choice because of uh, their starts in a, in a giant Earth map and then playing against 60 other civs is going to be pretty insane. Um, but anyways, real quick, over their unique ability, I want to kind of review over their unique ability, I should say. Uh, all land units have an extra plus sight. That's actually a lot cooler than I think most people think. That's That comes in handy. That definitely comes in handy. handy. 50% uh, discount when purchasing tiles. So, Manifest Destiny, eh, that's interesting. Uh, and then most of our, or both of our unique units don't come until like the mid to late games uh, game. Minutemen's kind of cool because, you know, we get to we get to move across rough terrain a little bit easier. And the B-17s are, are pretty beast. I, I definitely like the B-17s. So, they're going to be able to damage cities pretty hardcore. Um, they, they get like the evasive promotion and... Uh, and the like, you know, 33% bombardment promotion for attacking cities. So uh, they're pretty awesome planes. Okay, so here we go. So um, I don't know how this is gonna go because this is with 60 plus civs. My hope is that I'll be able to destroy. I want to play very war warmongering. I want to play very aggressive, very wide, and I want to destroy a lot of civs. That that way we can keep the campaign going because I, I don't want to be stuck with with waiting for the turns to process for a really long time and if you've been watch, watching my AI only battles you'll know that uh, sometimes the turns end up processing a little bit longer but because we have the fog of war that actually does that actually helps a lot the fact that the whole map isn't revealed so hopefully by the time we get satellites um, we'll have like I don't know maybe half the world destroyed. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Okay, so I, this is a TSL. I'm not going to move my settler, but if it wasn't a TSL game, I might, I might. I mean, I'll still practice good habits and move my warrior first on this on this hill. Well, that didn't give us anything, but the vision, again, this, the vision is going to, is definitely going to help us. Okay, so we're going to find Washington. Uh, Washington, this is actually a pretty dang good spot. I mean, we've got, we've got multiple rivers. We've got two wine luxuries, uh, two citrus luxuries. We've got cattle here. This is not bad at all, and of, co of course our, our city's coastal. It's a pretty good start, so I like it. Okay, um, I, c I do kind of want to go monument first. There are no um, there are no ruins. I figure the ruins would have just helped out a lot of the AI, especially in the old world. So I, I kind of wanted to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so I think I want to go monument here first because in terms of social policies, again, because I don't have really abilities that are geared towards one victory type. Um, I do kind of, I, I mean, I'm thinking of just splitting tradition and liberty, hopefully finishing both policies. I know that's kind of a weird thing to do, and it's, it's typically, like, not usually suggested all that much, but I have no interest in aesthetics or patronage, maybe commerce, depending on how many coastal cities I, I get up, but, um, but for now, I'm, I'm definitely gonna start off with tradition. I, I think, I think. Either way, um, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that. I, I might understand the argument to get a scout up here first, but let's go with a monument and, uh, yeah, let's go with a monument first. Okay, boom. And then in terms of, uh, research, I think we should go pottery, getting access to writing. I'd like to make sure that we have pretty good science, and I think that'll be good. Okay, here we go. So, um, we already know that, well, I know that Canada's in the game, because, uh, pretty much if you watched my AI only battle with the, uh, the, the, the entire world, with North and South America involved, um, all those civs are back, except for Colombia, because something weird happens with Colombia. Um, but I, re I replaced them with Cuba. Cuba will be on that little island over there, and hopefully they have a successful game. Uh, but I'm gonna go meet Canada and the Iroquois. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's gold up here. Uh, it looks like Canada has access to pearls and fish. Again, like I said, I want to play very aggressive. I'm not sure if I can go for a domination here. Probably, obviously not. I'm not even... I, I, I don't know why Cracklord even said that. I... <laughs> there's no way I have any any possible chance of getting a domination victory. Um, okay, so here's Lester. So, something to keep in mind is in order to do 60 plus civs in this giant earth map, I have to eliminate city-states. That is going to scare the crap out of me, because city-states are so important. Now, with my England campaign that I did this pretty much same thing in, uh, except it was with, you know, not 60 civs, I was so I was so struggling for happiness, and that's kind of a big worry of mine. I really need to be careful with my city placement, I'm going to meet the Iroquois as well. 
and I need to make sure that see the vision is is nice um yeah so I need to make sure that my city placement is 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 important. I also need to make sure that I have a lot of friends. So going out and finding the old world as soon as caravels are available, we've, we've got to do it because we want to trade with people. So that's also going to limit our, our move, our happiness in the very beginning is because we won't know that many cities or civs, I should say. Okay. Uh, we also have California, Texas. Uh, the Confederate States are not involved because they were kind of a broken mod that they've always, for some reason, like never settled. They've always been bad. Okay. So Washington has grown. Let me make sure that we are Working the right things. Uh, yes, okay. Let me make sure I lock these suckers down, too. Nice. So this cattle right here is really helpful, obviously, having access to three yields. Uh, and something else to keep in mind, maybe if I don't grow, I'm going to want to purchase this tile. I mean, if I if I, if my borders don't grow before we grow in citizens, I'm going to probably want to purchase this tile, be, t uh, tile because Manifest Destiny. I should, I should try to use that. Even though in the location we're in, there's really not too many people around us. Uh, there's not going to be anybody to the south unless, of course, the Aztecs, uh, or actually Texas will be down there. So we do need to kind of be concerned with the uh, availability, uh, availability, ability, I don't know why I can't say that word right now, of, Tex uh, of, of Florida. Florida is a pretty good coastal city. I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about expanding my borders. I know that more than likely people, I, I, people are going to want me to like get like modern day U.S. borders, but that probably won't happen. It'll probably be more 13 colonies. Uh, borders, which actually fits because I am technically Washington here as the leader. So uh, I think I'm going to probably go up and down the coast of uh, North America, and then I'd like to attack the British. That would be pretty fun. Uh, reverse, uh, reverse independence, 1776 war. I think I think that's something that I just kind of have to do is attack the British. So yeah, I mean, really, right now we're not going to see much of a of a difference in terms of turn processing. Again, the fog of war really, really helps out. The fact that we don't have to actually watch everybody. Uh, but, yeah, it will be a huge goal of mine to make sure that I, I kill as many civs as possible. I want to be very, very aggressive here. And those B-17s are going to really help with that. Okay. So, so yeah, worker would be really crucial. But because, you know, I can actually, I know the route to the old worlds now that I think about it. I don't, I can meet them before caravels. Because I know that there's a pathway. <gasps> That's what we need to do. Not right now, but we need to do that. Especially before Canada uh, maybe locks those tiles down. I don't want to be reliant on them as, uh, you know, having open borders. Or I don't want to, yeah, rely on them open borders. It kind of sucks because my strategy of stealing a worker away from a city-state will no longer be uh, applic applicable. I can't even talk today, so I'm not going to say big words. Big words are like my nemesis right now. So I'm not going to say those types, of, those types of things. I know that I have these mountains here, which I believe, geez, the Appalachians... And uh, I, I, I would like to Challenge probably to settle city. an observatory, an observatory city, I should say, around that, uh, around that location. Like I said, I'm not going to move Washington because Washington is, he needs to start off coastal. But I knew that there'd be mountain, a mountain range over this way. Okay. Yeah, I think writing would be good. I, I, I know that we decided to go scout, so there's no point in going mining right now because we don't need access to this technology if we don't have a, have a worker anyways. Um... Getting up a trade route wouldn't be a bad idea. There are no barbarians, uh, but I think a library would be pretty crucial. Make sure, make sure I stay ahead in science. And right now we're not even doing that well in science. I mean, it's taking ten turns to get the first four texts. Like that's that's not good. And just if anybody's wondering, this is the settings that I'm playing on. We're playing on Emperor and even on Emperor. Oh, I, I should have talked about this. I am probably gonna lose this. Uh, I I am definitely even even though it's on Emperor, I'm probably gonna lose this. I how am I gonna get to someone like? Uh, the Shanu. And again, the AI only battles have shown the Shanu are really, really powerful. Um, or how am I going to get to somebody like, I, I don't know, Korea is going to be a little bit easier, but if Kazakhstan's in the game, uh, and there goes my dog talking, um, if, if if Russia goes crazy, all that stuff's going to be really difficult. Uh, so I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this unless I play extremely aggressive. And uh, I mean, we're thinking, I'm thinking like a war pretty early on is, is kind of my hope here. But, uh, Let's start heading down south. Obviously, religion is pretty much out of the question at this point. Uh, religion is just not going to happen. Um, these BRD, that's a part of the 60 Civ mod. I could suppress. Oh, and I probably shouldn't suppress this stuff. Uh, which means, because I'm playing with 60 Civs, means that I cannot see Info Addicts. Which kind of sucks. Um, and yes, we don't want any of that stuff on in this, uh, in this case. Okay, so there's a mountain range there. 
I know Texas is like right here and I want to discover Texas. Uh, but we will. I mean, I I'll probably, I might even send my scout. Oh, Washington's grown. Okay, so good. We, we automatically grew towards the citrus, which is nice. Uh, I don't need to purchase a tile yet, but I'm considering it. Again, we're going to grow in nine turns, and I think our borders, oh, our borders are going to grow in six turns. So we're growing pretty fast. I did get monument first, so that kind of is expected. But uh, let's go, yeah, again, I'm not going to waste my money here. We're making about four gold, but I I'll definitely be purchasing tiles. Uh, yes, I, I do appreciate, I like the way that we're, we're expanding. Uh, again, even these tiles that don't have any luxuries on them, still that two plus food yield would be really helpful. That's really, that's still going to be pretty great. And I believe the wine gives us two food and two gold, if I'm correct. Uh, before calendar, before, you know, the plantation is, is placed on it. But, yeah, so that's not bad either. So uh, if we don't grow, which I think we will grow in that direction, then I will, I will purchase the tile. Okay, so good, we've locked it all down. Should be having a pretty big city, especially if I do go tradition. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of, I kind of want to do liberty. But then in my head I thought, you know, I've never done Tradition and Liberty. Well, I've never really set out to, to complete both trees. And there's a reason, you, I mean, there's... Liberty gives you, like, mid-game bonuses. Tradition is, like, right away. Um, honor and Piety, at this point, I feel like with 60-plus civs in the world, I, 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 I don't want to take the risk here. I don't want to take the risk. This is going to be so tough, because I don't know how I'm going to be able to stop a, a science victory in... Uh, in Central Asia, for instance, I, I don't know how I could do that. So, um, let, let's 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 play it. Let's play it a little bit safe, and let's start off with tradition. Okay, so there is my scout. So I'm gonna make sure that we discover what's going on over here. Now we'll go with the worker. Although I oh, I'd love the granary too. Ultimately, we're growing really fast. I think a worker would be important at this point. Uh, granary, we don't have access to deer, or wheat, or bananas. But, um, yeah, I think worker is more important. Why would the military advisor ask for a granary? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's probably an explanation there, but, um, I'm not going to think about it right now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, Drew. Really loving the four rivers, though. This four river start is going to be amazing. Especially because we did go down. Okay, you know what? I'm happy for tradition because we're going to get access to, um, not fertilizer, but the, the access after civil service. The, uh, the tile improvement, whatever that's called. Civil service is going to offer us tiles next to a river, extra food yield. So we won't have to wait for fertilizer like everybody else. I mean, this is going to be a big, big city. So I'm glad that we went tradition. That's kind of perfect. Okay, so let's go this way. Uh, I'm actually going to head down south. I do want to see what, what Florida is looking like this time of year. Uh, and no, I... Well, let me think about this. Let me think about this. I kind of don't want to give you... I don't want you to know. Like, there's there's a, there's a trade-off when it comes to this. You don't really want the Civ, the AIs, to know where you're at. However, when it comes to Canada, he's going to find out either way. Because he's, like, a few tiles north of me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept this, and I'll probably accept it from the Iroquois, too. But someone like the Sioux, which the Sioux are in this, and that scares the crap out of me. Because the Sioux did amazing on Emperor Difficulty last time around in the AI-only battle. And again, I'm going to be referring to that a lot, because uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through this rough terrain down this way. Um... They did amazing in North America. Scares the crap out of me. So I know that they're going to return, and they're going to just blob out here, more than likely, if we don't try to take up some of this land for ourselves. It should be a really fun campaign. Just the whole, like, fact that we can... The idea, you know, form the 13 colonies first, and then I'll try to do, you know, my my own version of the Louisiana Purchase by by heading off towards the east, of uh, the west, I, I apologize. Oh, there's Marsh here. Okay, well, where's Texas? Where's Texas? And we know Cuba is in the game. I figured that would be kind of funny to mess around with Cuba a little bit. Okay. So tell me there's something good. Okay, so there's pearls out this way, out, out down south. Maybe location here. Again, having access to these rivers, really, really helpful. Lots of pearls, which our, our, our capital does not have access to those pearls. Ooh, there's marble right here, though. There's, there's a river... There's hills. Not much food growth. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So, that is, uh... That is an interesting spot. I don't know. I don't know. There's crabs down here in the Gulf of Mexico. 
I like that. Then let me move this. Drew, why is it still on? Come on, man. All right, so there's cotton as well, which I would have access to cotton. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a great spot, right here. I mean, I'm I'm looking for a mountain because of the observatory, especially as a second city. Second city observatory, not bad, because obviously you know second city is going to grow a lot. But this is an amazing location. Truffles, wine, um, truffles, wine, silk. This wine up here, but Washington will probably get that. Pearls and a fish resource and cotton. Holy crap! All right, yeah, yeah. That's uh. That is an incredible city. That's amazing. Okay. So yeah, we're going to race down for uh, Land of Delete. This is kind of scary because uh, it, it's very clear to me that we're going to have some very tall cities. So trying to play wide at the same time will be tough. Hello, Texas. Perfect. We definitely need to puppet Texas. we got to puppet te Texas. Well, it would kind of... Maybe at the first, maybe first puppet Texas and then, uh, and then annex them if we can. There's truffles over here too. It's not a there's not really an excellent mountain location. My worry about this mountain city is just there's gonna be no growth. There's gonna be no growth in a city like that. Okay, but like I said, I wanna make sure I, I check out Florida. Alright, good. Good. Hey, and why haven't the Iroquois come to me, man? You wanna know where my city is? You wanna you wanna figure some stuff out? Okay, so we did we damn, we've already captured these two tiles. We've already grabbed these two tiles up here. So, and because we were tradition and monument, Manifest Destiny probably won't be used all that much, at least not in the very beginning. Um, which is interesting because my Venice campaign, I used the, the whole strategy of buying tiles a lot because I was in Europe, I had to. But at this point, oh man, the Chinook, I, I love playing this and having all these Native American civs in this. That's going to be awesome. The Sioux, uh, the Chinook, um, California's in it. I can't really think of a can't really think of oh there's Cuba oh man this is that's cool that is that is fun all right so uh so there's Cuba natural wonder perfect we needed extra happiness uh the Aztecs the Mayans the Inca obviously uh there's a few more here I just cannot remember off the top of my head uh the other natives okay so Washington has grown again let me make sure uh yes I guess I like that all right yeah I'm okay with this this is as good as Washington's going to get for now. I mean, they might eventually try to expand towards the fish, which would be good, but obviously got to get a work boat over there, too. Oh, you know, I didn't think about that. Havana's going to take this this cocoa. They're going to have a little piece of Florida. That can't happen. No. That is not going to happen. Well, we'll have to make a naval invasion of Cuba, then. That is going to need to happen, for sure. All right, let's go the next turn. Um... Same thing. They'll probably find my capital anyways, so I'll accept this. Loving the music. Loving, loving, the, uh, loving the leader music there. That's really cool. Okay, so we, we just established writing. He who destroys a good okay, so that means that we will be able to... You know, we're going to kind of race over this way. Uh, we'll be able to do get up a library very soon. We're going after a worker, which is nice. This is actually perfect timing because we've got all the tiles that I really wanted. We're already... Almost having every citizen so far work him. We still need one more. But, um, yeah, this is good. And then we'll be able to now start to improve those tiles. So, I think I would, you know, we do have a worker coming, but I, well, we need plantation, right? Obviously. So, let's go with the plantation. Plantation for both citrus and, uh, and calendar. So, that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, this is going to require animal husbandry, but I'm actually okay with not, uh... Yeah, this is going to offer us extra production, though. I will say that, and our production is not the best. But either way, I mean, obviously getting calendar is way more important since there are four tiles that require calendar at this moment and only one that require cattle. So, yeah, we got to go we gotta go calendar here first. Then I'll probably race after animal husbandry right afterwards. Okay, so let's go find California. Again, I don't really know how I can find some sort of historical... Oh, the Shoshone, that's right. Um... That's the other Native American sieve that I, I forgot to mention. But, yeah, I can't really figure out, like, a way where California is relevant to this campaign. But I wanted to make sure I had more enemies. Nice. Grand Mesa. Lots of mountains over here, which will keep California safe. We did not try this campaign. In North America, we eliminated the mountains uh, when we had the Native sieves and California and Texas and Washington. So that will make a pretty big difference. Okay, the fact that there are 60 plus sieves and we are 8th in 8th place in terms of food is really, really good. Well, 
Oh yeah. And we're tied with a few, but that's not bad. Look at that. That's that is that is a really really good start. Start. I love that. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's continue to head off this way. Want to meet everybody first of all. I kind of want to get an idea of who's who, who's going to war, who's expanding where. Really important. This is my continent. This is my continent. That's what I want to think about. There's salt here. I love salts. Everybody loves salts. So that will be helpful. Wonders are pretty much out of the question in this campaign unless I get really high in science, which is kind of unlikely. Um, it will definitely take some time. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at all these truffles. Holy crap. I won't be able to get access to that. I bet you the Sioux steal that away from us. There are the Aztecs. Aztecs, traditionally very aggressive, so we need to watch them. Uh, you know what? Why not be, why not go with some historical accuracy here? And Well, I don't know. Washington, Canada weren't really friends in the beginning, but, uh, you know, it's okay. I will take that. I'll, why not? Why not take that deal? I'd imagine Canada traditionally pretty friendly Civ. Um, this, this version of the Canadian mod, that is, um, kind of geared more towards, towards a cultural victory. All the cult, all the victory types are enabled, by the way, just so everybody knows. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we don't have calendar just yet. We still have to wait five more turns. We might as well go for, yeah, I guess we'll go after the wine first. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll put up a farm, then go after the wine. And actually, once we get a farm up, I'll probably stop working. We don't need this much gold. We need, we do need the production yields from the citrus tile. But uh, we don't need two extra gold. We're, we're doing fine, fine gold-wise. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. Um, yeah. And then here we go. Here's the Sioux. Very scared of the Sioux. Don't know what the Sioux are going to do. That's the beginning of my rap uh, career. I guess I should probably rush the library since we did rush... The technology, we did rush the library writing technology, so, uh, oh yeah, that's going to take too long. That's why we need gold. We want to purchase that first settler, or purchase a few settlers, that is. So I don't really want to use my Manifest Destiny uh, unique ability. Um, yeah, you know, if we had if we had access to wheat, bananas, or deer, then I'd probably go granary here, but it's way better to go library. It's going to take 15 turns. we got to do something about production, because that's not good. That's really bad. But, uh, yeah, let's go library. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, which, what kind of suggestions you have as America? What would you like me to do? There's, uh, there's a plethora of ways and possibilities where I could take this campaign, playing as Washington. Um, so much, and then there's 60-plus civs, so there's going to be so many, I think, interesting things to happen. I have no idea how this is going to play out. I've never, like I said, I've never really seen anybody try to play with 60 plus civs before. So uh, this should be, hopefully, a very unique experience. I think it's going to be a very fun campaign because there's going to be a lot of opportunities that I have to either like kind of replicate uh, early American history or late American history. Should be pretty fun. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.